the Midwest is now near a breaking point. Take a look at the average daily confirmed COVID cases in Wisconsin last month. Those numbers steadily rising. Dr. Paul Casey now, he's the medical director of the emergency department at Bellin Hospital in Green Bay. Dr. Casey, that chart, man, it really is scary. Are, are you reaching a breaking point there? Yes, Shepard. Unfortunately, the state of Wisconsin is now in crisis mode. All hospitals across the state are either at or nearing capacity. Today, we had a record number of COVID-19 cases, 7,500. Two weeks ago, it was half that. And this is straining us almost to capacity. Just like the reporter mentioned in the other hospital, we're currently able to keep up. But at this trajectory, we're looking at that hurricane coming down the pike. Man, Europe has been, Dr. Casey, ahead of us in, in this new COVID surge by a couple of weeks pretty steadily. And, and take a look at this video. It shows patients in Italy. I think we have it. Shows patients in Italy getting treated in their cars because there are not any beds in the hospitals. Are we on track to have that kind of reality in the United States? We may get there. We're not there yet, but uh, at this current trajectory, that could happen. Wow. You were on this newscast as our guest last month and delivered this warning. Here, listen. We are on the verge of a crisis in Green Bay and our surrounding counties. Over the course of the last week, every single hospital system has been either near capacity, at capacity, or above capacity. And that was a month ago, and things have only gotten worse for you. What, what is your advice for communities that are just now reaching that point? Well, as, as was mentioned, the single most important thing is to realize that we all have to take an active part in stemming the tide of this pandemic. The advice we've been giving for nine months, um, wear a mask, socially distance, wash your hands, all these things are are extremely more important right now, more so than for the last nine months, because we're coming up on the holidays. It's a time that families get together. What we're seeing in the hospitals is that the largest amount of spread comes from small family gatherings. People think, well, I'm not sick, but I'm fine. It's okay to have dinner with uh, six or seven close family members. But inevitably, one, our current positivity rate is 37% of oh. all people tested in Wisconsin. Wow. One in three people has the virus and they may not have any symptoms. So if you go out to dinner with five friends, I had a case recently where a patient was pretty sick, not sick mm -hmm. enough to be in the hospital, but I asked her, where did you get it? Well, six of us went out to a bar one night and uh, five of us got it. It's, that's the most common theme we're hearing, that people are congregating in small um, groups and spreading the virus, and Man. it's just exponentially increasing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.